Hi guys, I am excited to share my laundry room and mudroom decor and organization with you. I never thought that my laundry room would be the first room that I had completely decorated, but I found a few things that I really liked and it just kind of went from there. Also, after we have lived here for a few months, I kind of noticed that people are entering our home through our garage because sometimes we're having people over for dinner and John has the the garage door open and he's grilling and they just come in through the garage which is perfectly fine also we have a sprinkler system and sometimes when it's going off you really can't enter through the front door or you would get soaked so i thought since this is the first room that people see and want to make it nice not only for myself but also for my guests when they walk through but before I show you around, let's take a quick look at what my laundry room looked like before we did anything to it. This room is a little bit hard to record just from the way that it's set up. So I am going to show you around a little bit and then I'll let you know everything that I have and where I purchased it and I'll show you how I organize my laundry essentials. So on the walls we have the Benjamin Moore Soft Chinchilla. We love this color and I wanted to add an accent color and I chose coral. I love coral, I think it's so pretty and they have a lot of things available in that color right now. So when you enter through the garage, this is what you will see. And over here is more of the laundry area. And we have this big closet here. And I'm going to explain everything and show you where I keep all of my laundry essentials and I'll let you know where I found everything. Okay, now that you have an overall feel for the space, I'm going to go around and show you everything that I got. The first thing that I found that I really loved were these rugs. I got these at Target and they are the Threshold brand and I noticed when I did a haul that the coral color isn't really picking up correctly. It is coral, gray, and white and I love the pattern and I thought it would look great with the blue. And I wanted a mirror in here since this is where we're leaving the home and if you would need to take a quick look in the mirror. And it just so happened that I found these three mirrors here at Home Goods, and the pack of three was only $10. I got these way before we moved in, before I bought the rugs and everything, and obviously they have the same pattern and I just love them. I thought that looked really nice with the rugs. Over here on the opposite wall, I have this board, and I got this at Target. I believe it is the Threshold brand as well. I got this a while ago. I wanted to have a space for our keys. I wanted um, somewhere that we could put um, maybe things that we wanted to mail um, so that it's right by the door as we're leaving and we wouldn't forget. It has a whiteboard, so we can write things on there if we need to remember them before we leave. I got a few magnets. These actually came in a six pack from Target and my son Christian has um, some of them. They were um, black and silver but these kind of went with what I have going on in here. And there are some hooks underneath um, so we could hang bags and things like that. And then right around the corner I have this wall here and I got these four prints. I actually um, paid for them on Etsy and then was able to print them on photo paper. And this is a great way to decorate your walls if you are on a limited budget because you can find so many printables. Sometimes you can find free ones, um, but I was looking for specific colors and everything, so um, it really wasn't that much. And all four of them came together. 
The frames are from Ikea and they came with the mat and they do have different color frames there as well. Um, but I love this. I think it looks really nice. Um, it didn't cost a ton of money and it fills the wall space really well because it is a larger wall. Over here, I have this closet. So in here, there is a rod since it's a closet, and originally I wanted to use it to hang our coat since this is where we enter, but I have been using it to hang my laundry and I can keep the doors open, but what's nice is because when people come over, if I have, you know, like my bras hanging up or something to dry, I can close the door um, when we have company. So that's kind of nice because if I had a rod out here, which was my original plan, you know, people would walk by and see everything. So that is, is nice. And I'm going to put some hooks and mats outside in our garage right out here. There's um, plenty of room so that when it is wet and we want to hang up our coats or if our, um, boots and things are all snowy because we live in Michigan, um, I will have some mats there so we can use that so it's not even coming in the house. So that ended up working out really well. And that's another great thing about waiting to decorate and really um, getting a feel for your home before you do everything. Um, it's really worked out well. It's taken me a while to decorate, but but it really is working out well to kind of wait on some things. So at the top, I have three bins for our hangers. I got the center one from Home Goods. I think it was around $7.99, and I put all of our hangers in there, which makes it nice for hanging up clothes, and then um, we all put our hangers back in there. And then I have two coral ones. It looks red on camera, but it really is coral. These are the Threshold brand from Target. They do have some at the Dollar Tree, and I use those sometimes, but they aren't as sturdy, and I wanted something that would hold the hangers well, and I tried the Dollar Tree ones for this purpose, and it didn't quite work out. But they do have a lot of colors um, at Target in the Threshold brand, and in there I have um, the hangers with a clip that you would use for skirts and shorts and things like that. So I have two of those on the top. And then in here I keep my broom and dust mop and mop and vacuum. And then I do have a little area for shoes and um, we just keep shoes that you know, or for working in the yard or whatever that have gotten really dirty so that they don't go back into our bedrooms. Over here is where I actually do the laundry. I have laundry in our baskets. They didn't take anything out. We're real people. Um, I wanted to mention I have the Samsung washer and dryer. I love them. I decided to get the top loader after Hearing a lot of complaints about front loaders, I love these. They work really well, and I was very happy with our choice on those. I know a lot of people like to decorate the top of their washer or dryer. I kept it really simple because I actually use the top of my dryer a lot of times. Sometimes I um, have clothes up there that I'm like scrubbing things out of or um, you know I use it to fold laundry sometimes. Usually my boys fold the laundry but if I just have a couple things in there at school I might fold it. So I kept it very simple because I do use that area but I did get a plant and I found this planner at Meyer, which is our grocery store that we have in the Midwest area, but I thought it was really pretty and added a little bit of green, but didn't take up too much of the top of my washer and dryer. And again, I have the same threshold rugs from Target. I found this cute little coral waist back waste basket from Target as well. And then just under my laundry tub is where I keep my bucket. I've mentioned before I keep my dish rags in there with a little bit of vinegar and water and that helps cut down on the smell <laughs> um, and, you know, keeps them fresh and clean. And then over here I have wash and dry on my wall and I got the letters at Michael's. I, I saw some at Hobby Lobby, they have them in a lot of different places, but I got these at Michael's and I wanted to show you how I attach them to the wall. 
Some of you might already be familiar with these, but I got these Command Damage Free Hanging Strips, I guess you would call them. Yeah, Hanging Strips. And I love this because there are all these letters and I didn't want to put all those nails in my wall. So you basically get two strips and they're kind of like Velcro and you just push them together when you're ready and it kind of clicks and they have a sticky side on each side so you have one for the back of your letter and then one for the wall they have been hanging there really nicely and I love that especially when you're doing something like letters because you might get them all up there and realize that they aren't straight and also like I said all of those nails so those are a great thing to try if you want to hang um, something like that for my valence here I got this um, it was actually a curtain panel and it was 84 inches, but I love the pattern. I love that it's the coral color. I wanted to make some patterns in here. I got this at Target and it's the Threshold brand as well. Um, it's 84, it was 84 inches and the window length here is 96 inches. So obviously it was too short. Um, I didn't really want a really long drape in the laundry room anyway so I just hemmed that and I like the way it turned out I'm not a really big sewer or anything um, but I tried my best and I love the pattern on it and the curtain rod is just from Target it's it was just you know something simple you can't really see see it way up there anyway and then I just have our three baskets here that we use to separate laundry. I got these gray baskets at Target again. I was just like on a laundry room kick when I was at Target. These were actually in the children's uh, bedroom decor section and I believe they were around like eight dollars or so for each basket which is a great deal. They're a perfect size for a load of laundry. Leslie, I wanted to show you what I have in my cabinets, and these are right above my washer and dryer. I wanted my cabinets to look nice, but be very functional. Um, I just wanted to be able to grab what I needed, and I definitely wanted plastic bins in here because, you know, laundry detergent spills and everything, so I didn't want to use the same ones that I was using for hangers. Plus, I don't think they would have fit anyway. So I got these coral bins at Target in the dollar spot, but they were $3. Some of the things in that section are $3. So they were $3. I couldn't find any at the Dollar Tree that were the right color. So in this one, I have my crystal wash balls. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about these, I use these in place of laundry detergent, and they are awesome. I did a review on them, and... Um, they last for a really long time and they are great for sensitive skin. So I actually don't have any laundry detergent in my cabinet and I'll, I'll link all of that information below in case you're like, what are those things? I have vinegar. Um, I mentioned I put this in with my dish towels and it helps remove the odor. I have recently started using this as a fabric softener, so I just put it in with my laundry detergent um, where the fabric softener would normally go in the washer, and it's working really well, and you can't smell the vinegar because in a load of laundry, it's such a small amount. It also helps um, if you have any buildup on your towels and things, and you want them to be soft and fluff fluffy again, um, so I keep my vinegar in there. Um, I do have a bottle of hand soap because my guys um, like to golf and they use this to clean their golf clubs sometimes when they get you know a lot of dirt on them. And then I have this bin here also from Target, the same one as on the other side. And I just keep all of my stain remover stuff in here. And then I have my cleaning gloves here. I just have a 3M hook with a binder clip. That idea isn't original to me, but I can't remember where I saw it. Um, I just thought it was a great idea. And I, I have one under my kitchen sink as well. Um, it just keeps them out of the way, easy to take down, and that way they can dry properly. I hope you enjoyed my laundry room decor and organization. I really appreciate you guys watching.